Hey, welcome back. So we're working on a Mazda CX-5. It's a early model 2022, but it's um, asking for that Mazda pin code. So I'm gonna, I've already made a video showing the NASA side, the pin code side, but there's a lot of area in the middle people aren't sure. So I'm gonna make a complete video um, to kind of show people. And let's go ahead and get started. So we have the vehicle on, let's go ahead and turn the vehicle off. I notice the voltage is dropping pretty quick. That's one issue. We're gonna be using a jump pack on this um, during that process. So let's go ahead and get started. Switch off, hazards on, and we're connected. Cool, let's do add keys. And then looking at our keys. Yes, they're the same. So I'm gonna press the button. Does it turn orange? Yes, orange. Switch on. Dash lights up, good. So now I was asking, do you wanna bypass security? Yes or no? Let's do yes. We're gonna wait and see. Failed. So this is where we have to go back and do no and type in that code and get started. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to disconnect. I don't want the voltage to drop. It went from 12.6 to 12.1 during this process. So I'm gonna do everything on the back end, like prep the, um, the Mazda account and then start this. So I'm not eating a battery. Cool, let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna click on here. We're gonna go down to emo tab. Sorry for the glare. It is just Mazda's black. And we're gonna scroll down. We're gonna do a 24 hour subscription. Yes, add to cart. And we scroll down. I haven't done this in a bit. I'm just trying to remember, but cool. We're gonna enter our username. Cool, now we're signed in. And now we're gonna go back. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go back, mobilize your codes. Add to cart. Cool, so I have one, cool. Wanna chow. We're gonna add our information. So now we um, purchased that $50 item um, for like the service. So now we have this option. So we scroll down, we're gonna have key code and mobilizers. Get started. We're not a security professional on this video. So where do we go? We're going to go back. We're gonna go home. So this is if you have NASA, we're not gonna go that route. Oh, we're gonna go back to Mazda service here. Cool, signed in, let's go back. Emo codes. Cool, now this is what we're looking for. We're gonna to go to code word. So now we're gonna go back to the vehicle, enter that information, and then we're good. Sorry for the glare, but that's it. Okay, so now we're back in the vehicle. We're prepped on our, our tablet for Mazda to enter that information, just so we don't have the vehicle running and eating up juice. The vehicle is running, we're gonna use a jump pack because it takes about 15 minutes to wait for Mazda to give us the information back. So we're gonna connect, we're gonna turn off, gonna go back like we did before, hazards back on, making sure like no AC or anything's running. And the voltage, it's gonna drop. It gets crazy, I don't know why. Mazda just seemed to do that. Cool, 
And maybe we can use like the Altel, but the Smart Pro just seems to be more adapt for this. Yep, buttons match. Let's turn it on. Orange, yes. Switch on. Dash lights up, great. Okay, so now I just do no. We're gonna get this information. Cool, there's our information. So now we're going to type it in here. So the VIN number, it's JM3 Okay. Okay, so we typed in the VIN, the part number, the serial number, uh, the error control number, and I'm just doing case sensitive, and to click the drop down is reprogram key. I'm gonna hit submit. It's thinking, it's thinking. Cool. Um, get it in 15 minutes, and we're just gonna get it in an email form. And we just kind of wait. Okay, so it's been about 13 minutes or so, even though it says 15 minutes, we got an email um, on this phone. We took a picture so you can see everything. So now we have the out code, encode, this long thing. So let's go ahead and get started. So, okay, so enter the encode. There's the encode. So it's gonna be E. Zero. Zero. E. A. Okay. Now we're going to wait another seven minutes or so for that horn to honk. So our timer's almost up for that um, wait time. With the jump box on there, jump pack, uh, voltage is maintained, so that's good. We have the new key and the old key, so one and two. And we're just waiting for that prompt of the horn to honk and then we're able to proceed. So as you know, this is usually a seven minute process when we're gonna add the keys and bypass. Um, it's been seven minutes, nothing. It's been 10 minutes and nothing. Let's go ahead and proceed and see if we can encounter that issue I've had once before and kind of go through that route and see what we can do. So again, we have two keys. Voltage is good, so don't have to worry about that. Let's hit okay. And I'm going to hit the brake, and I'm going to grab the new key and the logo facing me. So brake pedal. Okay. You're going to program another key. No. And we want to switch off. Okay. Cool, everything looks good. So I'm gonna take the original key, brake pedal. Good. And I turn it off, grab the new key, brake pedal. Okay. I think I hit the trunk button by accident. And we'll turn off, okay. Now it says three keys program, good. Let me close the trunk. I got some fat fingers. Mm. And we are good to go. Thanks for watching.